I hope you're well. I have not been online for a while or done any lives for a long time, but I'm just really excited about this new product from Stampin' Up. It has just come in the mail a couple of days ago, and it's, I know it's backwards, but it's the soft pastel assortment. And I'm gonna show you one technique this morning on what I did. I'll show you a few more in coming up, but it's this really, really, really fun, really quick, easy card to make. And if you don't know about the pastels in your catalogue, they're on page 126. There they are. And uh, $15.75. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight colours. But you can mix and blend them anyway. So without further ado, I'll show you, we'll get to it. I'll show you what I have um, started, what I've made. So I'm just going to flip this up and let me see. Okay. So there is, that's the box that comes in. It's just a cardboard, just a cardboard box. And there's a little bit of foam that separates each each one. They're pretty, they're pretty strong. I thought they'd be softer. So, but I, I know how to get around that because the card that we're going to make, <coughs> excuse me, there's it's not hard to do. Okay, and so I used the elegantly said stamp set, which is a new one. For those interested, it's on in the catalogue on page 69. There we are. Okay. And what you need to get out also is some Versamark. Obviously your stamp. So we've got one stamp. Where's the other stamp? Here it is. So that's all ready to go. One thing I didn't get ready. So I won't waste time cutting it in half, I scored, but it's not half a paper. Another handy thing is just some scrap paper. I've just ripped up an old paper mat here. Doesn't matter. You can do it straight onto your, onto your um, mat, but it's just to save it. So let's make some space. So first of all, you want to stamp up your image. Oh, hello, Sasha. Lovely to see you. Well, I haven't seen you, but nice to hear from you. Hi, Holly. So, ink it up. I normally have a refill for Versamark. I can't find it, so I'm going to have to order some more. It's still got enough juice in it. So, I'm just going to go... Now, those who have used Versamark, you know it's basically clear, sticky ink stays wet a long time, normally used for embossing your powders, so there's no sense of urgency in rushing with this because it's not going to dry very fast. So I've just done one in one corner, one in the other corner, and I'm going to do a sentiment. I can see where I'm going because the reflection, but you won't be able to see a thing, I'm sure. Okay. So that's all stamped up. Now the colours I chose, just make some space here, so you can see, is, I'm sure I've said what the colours are, the coast, this is Coastal Cabana, so I'm going to do a bit of rubbing here, and that's how you get the colour onto your paper. Some pastels, you can actually just use your dauber, your sponge dauber, and rub it straight off the pastel but these aren't these are a bit firm so that's not going to happen trust me I tried so you've got your three colors I'll just move it over so you can see a little more and I'm going to use just one dauber and pick up the lightest color 
I have to stop that just because it doesn't matter. And I'm just going to pat it down. I'm not going to rub, I'm just going to pat. And you can see it's starting to come. The, the, um, And it sort of blends in, well, you blend it in to match the next, to join with the next colour. So it's quite a quick and fun technique. Now once you're happy where the colour's going, wherever you rub, it's going to stay permanently. While it's loose, you can blow it away, do you know what I mean? So once you um, rub it, you're actually pushing it into the fibres of the paper. There is, there is such thing as an eraser for pastels, but I don't have one. <laughs> I plan to get one though. A normal, a normal Faber Castell, or a normal good quality rubber will not work. You have to get the proper, I think it's got a bit of charcoal in it or something. You can get them online at craft stores and whatnot. So you can see it's starting to take shape. And you, and you can mix and blend as much as you like. Now I'm going to pick up the purple, which is called, what colour is that? Um, it's Gorgeous Grape. Okay, and the blue is Night of Navy, which is obviously a very popular favourite. It's the darkest blue we have. So, as you can see, it didn't take that long. Now, I'm just going to... Oops, sorry about the wobble. I'm just going to find the sentiment. Now, I did stamp it crooked. I noticed that. Just for demo purposes today, this card. So, before you push it all in, give it a little tap. I can't pick it up. You give it a little tap, like this, tap, tap. And you've got rid of all the all the dusty bits, and then you can just really work it all in. And there you have. A really, really quick, easy, pretty finish. And again, tap it off. You can seal this with um, sprays or sealers, but I, I'm not finding it's too much of a trouble, too much of a hassle. So the other, thanks Holly. Oh, hello Michelle and Kelly. So what I did, Next, I, I mounted it onto two, two other pieces of card that I use, Coastal Cabana and I think that's gorgeous, great, must be gorgeous, great. And as you can see, I've added some lovely little jewels. And they are the new clear epoxy essentials, silver and clear epoxy essentials. So. They were just perfect because there's different shapes. You've got the clear ones, obviously, and then the silver ones. And you can see the little diamonds and drops. And that's what I used. That's what I used here. I used the diamond, the diamond here, and then the drops. And that, my loves, is the first technique I'll be showing you. I'll, I'll come back another day and show you some more. But they're so much fun, these pastels. So I think um, they're going to be a bit of a winner for me for a while. I will be doing a class coming up 
very soon. I haven't got the date written down yet, but I will also might even do a Zoom class. And um, I think the Zoom class and the class in-house, everyone will get a pack of these and some daubers. And I'm even thinking of throwing in a stamp and blend because we'll be using that as well. But stay tuned, more details coming. Thank you for watching and where are you? Oh, we'll see Charlie. Where's Charlie? No, she's hiding. Anyway, I'll sign off from now. Thank you for watching. Take care and see you later. Bye.